Hey everyone, Mega400 back with more Let's Play Kid Icarus. Uh, last time I mentioned that I leveled up. I did not. I don't know why I said that. Because there's only one more level up I need for health, and it's not until two. Th I, I, you know, I'm not good with numbers. I'll admit, I'm not good with realizing like what place the numbers are. Like when you get up into the 2000s, like is it 200,000? Is it 2,000? Like I screwed up that in a psych or a sociology speech. I screwed it up. I said. Uh, uh, I, I messed up the whole numbers, and the whole teacher had to um, ask or had had that on the test. It had a number of things on the test because I mean, it was an easy uh, question though because I made sure to remember it. Um, but yeah, uh, here we are in the next fortress or the second uh, labyrinth. Um, as you can see, all the enemies uh, like that guy that was in the last one, they were the similar guys uh, that just float around, and gave you full hearts, and they're. Uh, a uh, different color. I don't know why those guys glitched through the door. Um, the other guys who uh, were a lower color, they only give you half a heart. They just all changed forms. Like right here, we have Goomba looking enemies. Uh, the Shamus, the snakes are all in like every single level though, so you'll see those guys. And yeah, there's like a whole glitch party going on over there. Um, so uh, the boss of this uh, uh, fortress is. Oh, damn, it went wizards. But they're not too hard because I have enough strength, so I can easily kill them in like three hits. Uh, the boss of this uh, level, or this fortress, is uh, Hoodra. Uh, you'll see what he is. Uh, it's kind of an odd name, like Hoodra. Uh, and I didn't mention, but the boss of the last uh, one was actually named Twin Bellows. Uh, I looked it up, so it's it's in the uh, manual, it's called Twin Bellows. Even though he looks more like Cerebus, and he probably was based off Cerebus, his name is Twin Bellows. Um, these are gonna you're gonna see them from uh, in fortresses from now on. They're like uh, spike maze rooms. I'm, I've gotten pretty good at getting past them without getting injured. Um, and here's more of these guys. And if you saw earlier, I uh, defeated those uh, or not defeated. I freed the stone angels to make a shortcut. Uh, after you come back there, if you like accidentally uh, have to go back that way, uh, it will be sealed off with brick wall. So you have to go like a little bit of a longer way. It's not too bad, but. Um, just making sure you know that, because you do have, to, if you, uh, use that shortcut, you'll have to make sure to, um, you can't go pack that way. It gets sealed off. It's, it's only a one-time only shortcut. Uh, watch out for these eggplant wizards. Now, for anyone who's been been thinking, Mega, and I, was, I had only one health, only one hit left, and I got hit there right before the, uh, uh, life fountain, which really made me mad. I'm like, damn it, I could have saved a bottle of water of life. Um, but anyone's been thinking, Mega, why haven't you gotten turned into an eggplant? I want to see you be turned into an eggplant. Well, I'm going to be turned into an eggplant in this, uh, fortress, and actually this is probably the best fortress to be turned into an eggplant because, um, the hospital, there's a hospital on the way. Like, some levels have more than one hospital and more than one, uh, water life spring. I think this one does. Um, but, uh, the hospital to save you is on the around, uh, along the way, so you don't have to go like back and search. Like it's fairly easy uh, to get to. So I, I got turned. I'm like, you know, I'll just keep. The, I, I don't. Uh, there's no point redoing the whole level. That's stupid. I'll just. I need. I need to show what happens when you turn, turn into an eggplant. You get served with spaghetti and uh, parmesan cheese and spaghetti sauce. And I was trying to dodge these guys. I think this is where I get turned. Maybe we'll see. Maybe not. Maybe I was lucky enough to miss. Nope. There I go. Eggplant. So your whole upper body becomes an eggplant, so your lower body is still your feet. You can't attack or do anything, you can just be an eggplant. Uh, I didn't mention this, I don't think. When you bend down, you can still move left to right. Like, you can crouch and then move left and right. So generally you could just be a whole eggplant jumping around the stage. Um, here we have the nurse. The nurse will only appear when you are an eggplant. You need to stand right in the center, and the eggplant will be taken off. Uh, let's get through this area. So, um, let's see, uh, so I've been doing, um, st still been doing college classes, I've done, uh, uh taking, uh, uh, interactive design, which is basically, uh, interactive, uh, uh, 
uh, basically you use Flash and stuff to make uh, things that uh, people can interact with, like the main focus of the uh, animating projects is interactivity, which the first thing that came to mind was like, okay, great, it's good to do like these spinning and rotating uh, 3D objects and all this stuff, but you know what you're forgetting? There's one media today, one of the main medias that whole, the whole existence is about interactivity. Video games. I mean, think about this. Movies and TV, uh, or let's go back. Music, like songs, uh, use only one sense. They use sound. They use hearing. Your sense of hear, uh, sense of, sense of sound, sense of hear, sense of, I guess sense of sound. I, I'm trying to think. I'm, I'm. I don't. Maybe there isn't another word to describe it. There probably is. But um, so use a sense of sound. Uh, you have um, uh, then you have movies and TV shows, which are basically the same thing. Just movies are longer. Uh, and in movie theaters, and they have different, uh, but, but in terms of the media like that it uses, it's the same. They're both uh, use sound, and they also use sight. Video games, on the other hand, use sound, sight, and touch because you you touch uh, the controller, um, and and that's again another reason why I'm kind of uh, hesitant for like things like Project Natal because you're getting rid of that touch. I mean, now you're just moving. You know, you're losing that whole tactileness. You're losing the uh, 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 sense of touch, and I don't know if that's gonna be. You know, I, I'm I'm still hesitant. I'm more f f uh, for it than I was. You know, but I'm still hesitant about stuff like that, like getting rid of uh, tactile. But either way, though, video games are really interactive, and one of the main things is interactivity, which is I did my uh, whole rant on Yoshi's story about. Um, uh, movies and TV shows, um, and and games, and how uh, games have too long cutscenes. I don't know if I mentioned this, but games should have long cut or should not have long cutscenes um, because you want to get right to the action. It's the whole thing about video games is interactivity. So if you're having all this long cutscenes, you're defying the purpose of a video game to have the interactivity. With movies and TV shows, however, your main thing is just, you know, watching it. So if you're, like, rushing through it, you know, you don't want that. You want to, like, slowly draw your audience in and get them interested with the story and everything. If you're just, you know, going too fast, it's not... So, like, video games and movies and uh, have basically the opposite, in my opinion. Movies should have long... Or, not long, but should have should be slower paced than they are nowadays. And games should have uh, get into the action uh, as soon as they can, or at least have a skip function. Um, this is who draw, who draw, um, and who draws an H E W draw. Uh, he is a gigantic snake thing. He's actually fairly easy uh, to dodge. Um, in fact, uh, I had like like one health the first time I faced him, and I still beat him. However, after you beat him, you know the uh, damage tiles at the bottom, they turn white. So I took to this. Oh look, it's it's a life fountain. It wasn't. Um, so I had to redo the whole fortress because I jumped in there after I had defeated him. That that wasn't fun. That was really actually quite... It was hilarious, but it was quite annoying. Um, and yeah, my centurions are all dead. Poor centurions. We don't care for you. Um, but, uh, yeah, but anyway, back on the uh, classes really quick. I'm taking that class, Interact Design, and it's fun, but I, I you know, I... I I think sometimes they focus, the uh, professors focus more too much on, I mean like, you don't hear too many professors saying, oh video games are so awesome, and I think they consider them a media, a lot of them consider them more of a toy, but they're not, they're a media. Uh, I wish some professors would do that, say, so, yeah, don't jump in the, I jumped but I got out of there quick enough, don't jump in there, it kills you. I haven't, uh, not level up yet, but I will see you guys next time, this is Mega400 reminding you to drink some diet pop soda thing. <laughs>